Here we are back on the ASK 13 rebuild and right now as you can see here I've I've um, shaved this um, what would you call that the false trailing edge the sub spar in front of the aileron I shaved it back to flush it was mm, it was just the thickness of the, the capping balsa overhanging this um, false trailing edge by about I don't know two mil so I shaved that back and gave it a good block sand uh, and put some triangle in there now so that'll create a nice socket for the aileron the radius of the aileron to sit in because we've got the robot hinges going in there these little fellows here but why I've got the currently got the panels together lower surface is the next <laughs> the next issue I face is according to Cliff Charlesworth's plan so in my father's defense all of these um, webs between the spars or behind the spars <coughs> excuse me are all horizontal grain and this model's had two significant accidents and these were split it's just split along the grain <clears throat> so they should have been vertical right from the start vertical grain so i've got it i'm going to put some just some doesn't i won't take much just a, like a piece of 30 second balsa or something just on the back probably out to it maybe just here i don't think the rest of it would be needing it but the issue i have is in behind the the spoilers i'm not sure because that was split as well so getting in behind the spoilers I had to go on the other side you can see some vertical green balsa over there but um, it's not ideal it's not ideal because I couldn't get it to go all the way across so while it, I mean I put the balsa over the top of where the split was but of course if it gets under any kind of load again it's just going to split again on the other side of it so I'm not really certain how to get in there but I don't know I don't know but yeah but this will this will be easy enough um, and if I lock this up it's just going to put a stress riser in here and want to, this to split even more I mean that's a solid plywood web there that's not going anywhere so you can see the web finishes there in plywood and then starts a balsa and comes along here so I really need to get something in behind there in behind the spoilers so I wonder if I maybe make short narrow pieces and feed them in and rotate them one at a time hmm, i'll ponder that anyway um i'm waiting for this now to to set i just put that on with some c23 that old c23 some balls of cement so that will be ready to sand back to the profile uh, when it's cured, dried, whatever. Um, I've had to re relocate the control horn and make a new one. <laughs> when Dad built this, he actually cut the base off, if you remember them, a Jubro, a plastic Jubro control horn, which had the plate on it for the two screws. <laughs> he just, he'd cut the plate off and, and glued it, epoxied it into the aileron and it was just a, a, this plastic bendy plastic control horn i mean it's served its purpose for i don't know how long but anyway there's some g10 in there now and it's anchored thoroughly <coughs> excuse me anchored thoroughly um i've got the servo pockets in there 3d printed some servo pockets some servo mounts for wing servos got the other you know, lay on the side wing servos so that's uh that's going to be a big upgrade for those surfaces. I forgot actually how flimsy 
an uncovered balsa wing is. You've only got to put your finger in the wrong spot. And, oh, geez, it out comes the glue again. Exhibit A. I broke that one and put another piece of balsa behind it. So, and you can just, um, you know, you might just squeeze that just a little bit hard. And, oh, no, there you go, another one. <laughs> Anyway, we'll get some covering on it eventually and it'll be no problem at all. All right, that's long enough. Chat again soon. Mm -hmm.